What is up guys, Jonah here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking the all-wheel drive RC Drift project out to Super G to check out a new addition that they made to the track and to hopefully try out some of the GoPro angles that I didn't get to do in the last video. The car actually had a lot of issues with things coming loose during the last session, and I haven't really checked the car since then. So right now I have the car in front of me and we're going to give it a quick run through to see if anything needs work before we bring it out to Super G tomorrow. So in the past, the things that have come loose were the screws holding in the servo to the mounts, um, the screws holding in the motor to the mount, and the pinion grub screw, I think that's what it's called. I fixed all the motor stuff last session so those should be fine right now and i was supposed to see if the servo screws would back out again but right now um the servo seems pretty secure so that's fine but one of the things i'm just noticing now is the fact that the drive shaft is actually out of the cup right here so after messing around with this a little bit i was able to find out that um what happened here was that this drive shaft cup actually ended up sliding back, which led to the loss of contact between the cup and the drive shaft. Um, that happened because whatever is holding this drive shaft cup to the shaft here is missing. I wasn't able to find it on the chassis, so that basically means it's gone. But uh, luckily, I was able to find the aluminum, the plastic counterparts. Um, these are basically the stock parts because this is an upgrade. Um, I thought about using the attachment system from the plastic part and installing it on the aluminum part to hold it onto the shaft. But looking at the images of the upgraded part online and the images that I see in the PDF manual of the plastic part, uh, the attachment systems are kind of different. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with installing the plastic part for now and hope it works. So after running a full battery pack through this car, uh, the drivetrain really showed no issues. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with anything coming loose in the drivetrain. And the plastic part that we temporarily replaced the aluminum upgrade part with held up just fine. So I think that should be ready for tomorrow. I did notice one small issue though. The steering linkage is popping off of the steering horn. And I think it's because the ball cup is kind of worn out. I checked to see if I have any replacement parts for it on hand, but unfortunately I do not. So a temporary fix is just to keep popping it back on when it pops off. And maybe we'll be able to find parts at Super G tomorrow, but um, that's all I can really do at home for now. So I'll go ahead and continue the video when I'm at Super G.
so that was pretty much today's session and pretty much today's video um i think it went fine we got a lot of seat time in and i actually got to practice uh i mean i actually got to experiment with multiple different angles with the gopro so we'll see how that comes out when i start editing um you guys will have already seen it by now but yeah i mean they're probably not going to be perfect but they'll give me an idea of like what i can do and what works and what i can fix so overall pretty productive day with a drift project um nothing really went wrong with it um except for like just two things um one there's like a freak accident where the screw holding in one of the servo mounts i guess was exposed under the chassis so i think i hit a crack here and that screw just got bent so that was pretty much going to end my day but um a local drifter named colby was able to help me out there and uh, gave me a screw to hold a servo mount in so yeah big shout out and thanks to colby um and then at the very end the steering linkage problem that i mentioned earlier in the video ended up happening but it was not till the very end so that was pretty good and yeah overall a really good session so i also bought things from super g so keep a lookout for that in the next upcoming weeks whenever i get to make a video on those eventually but yeah it's like two o'clock in the morning now so i'm gonna drive home uh thank you guys for watching the videos and i hope to catch you guys again soon Shock you like you won't believe